The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. I am Ian Drenyon, an independent alternative media practitioner among other things. It's uh, an early morning version of Brood Banter. At nandito ako sa teres ng Intrepid HQ. So, tara, kapit tayo. Perfect Spanish. <laughs> 200 years. Nothing's a li nothing's Nothing beats ano, having a cup of warm coffee at almost 6 in the morning. Tapos hindi pa masyadong maingay dito. Sana lang hindi tumahol yung aso ko namin. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm wearing this hat is because uh, so lang mo shout out kay uh, Sir Francis ng uh, Francis Bike Adventure. He is basically the mainstay uh, cycling merch guy sa Kapian sa Bukay near Vermosa. Uh, nabili ko to sa kanya. Paramihan sa mga cycling gear ko, uh, pinili ko sa kanya. Uh, kumbaga siya yung ano, hindi man official, pero yung ano, mainstay na latag dun sa ano, na, na nakalatag dun sa Kapian. And uh, yun nga, I do need did something to protect my head from ano from uh from the heat kasi napapansin ko na every time i cycle at this point in uh, of the year sobrang nahihido ako mata sa heart rate ko and um yun nga gusto ko nang iwasan din na ano na ma heat stroke ako just like just like what happened last april so i do hope uh this help uh, this will help and then uh, makapakupit din ako uh, para makatulong. Kasi hindi na rin nagkakasya yung helmet ko sa sobrang kapal ng buho. Eh. But this does, uh, this does um, uh, aid me in uh, cycling on, in, in the heat kasi hindi masyadong nainitan yung anit ko and all that shit. And um, it is cool actually. Kasi, yun niya, pwede mo siyang isuot na ganyan kapag ano, kapag uh, kailangan ng clear view, kapag medyo hindi mo masyadong maaraw, you can also turn it down kapag sobrang araw. And uh, in my case, kasi uh, may butas kasi yung goggles, yung goggles dun sa helmet ko. Kaya, um, kaya natatakpan din yung ano, natatakpan din tong uh, ng uh, ng ano na to, yung frame na to yung ano yung uh, yung <laughs> yung uh, goggles so yun now if you haven't what if this if this is your first time watching me do a brood banter it's primarily influenced by uh, Claire Leak of Woodshed Theory kasi every Sunday nagre-record siya ng Porch Coffee and uh, Claire is actually um, diagnosed a diagnosed autistic woman so uh, same wavelength and all that shit I'm undiagnosed at this point I'm suspecting siya kasi ano na siya fully diagnosed na siya and she had this idea of ano of uh, doing brood banter eh, parang doing uh, uh, videos of her uh, sit sitting on the porch, sipping on some coffee at in the early hours of the morning. And yeah, uh, yun nga yun nangyari. Uh, porch coffee was born. So this is my answer to porch coffee, uh, brood bander. Pero uh, ito, hindi lang siya relate, hindi lang siya limited sa 
umaga and all that. Nagkataon lang naman na ano ganyan doon. But it's Monday, uh, July 10, 2023. And the reason why I'm recording this is because um, two things. And medyo religious to, kaya um, first of all, tanggal ko yan. And uh, secondly, if you don't, um, if you're not really that religious, at least hear me out. Kasi for all this time, I am uh, telling you that I'm a Catholic. Uh, I have incorporated um, Catholic prayers in, at the, in, uh, in the Intrepid podcast. And uh, nirecord ko na yung latest episode. Hopefully, ma-edit ko siya ngayon. Madali lang naman i-edit ang, ano, eh, ang podcast episodes. Eh. Kasi poses lang naman ang kailangan doon. Ang mahirap lang talaga is yung script writing and recording. So, yeah, at least <clears throat> um, two out of three are, is done. Or two out of four actually, halfway na. Kasi uh, kailang i-upload mo pa yan. And since long format ang ano ko, ang podcast, uh, it's gonna it's gonna take a long time. Anyway, bakit ko nga ba, ba't nga ba ako nag-brood banter? And that's because I wanted to talk about two things. First of all, update dun sa reaction section between Paulul and a certain ano, and a certain um and a certain uh, creator na medyo ano medyo cringy. Somehow that guy is on a redemption arc because uh, <laughs> he was schooled. He was absolutely schooled and. Uh, sabihin na natin eh, sa uh, linggo ng flip top eh pinadipag siya ni Paulul so uh, congratulations Paulul you won this time ang poto ng hurado 7-0 or 10-0 magingay para sa iyo Tito Pao cheers anyway ayun nga uh, teto bilang kapwa Tomasino niya Yes, nag-aral siya sa USD. Parehas din kami ng program na ano na um uh, tinapos. So, I'm not sure kung communication na yung tawag doon sa ano sa communication arts dati. Pero we um same program, same sets of profs. Uh, I think ano eh almost the same curriculum pero mas upgraded yata since 2015. Kasi I also had ano, I also have a contact uh, na naging schoolmate ko nung high school. Uh, tapos two batches under ko siya uh, sa USD. And now she's married to her uh, high school sweetheart na kilala ko rin. Uh, ayun. And uh, basically parang kabatch niya si Tito Pawe. Eh. So mas nauna ako sa kanya. But I do appreciate him uh, being ano ito not really being rational pero yung uh, naging ano siya naging uh, creative siya sa pag pag response na hindi lang ano eh hindi lang uh, hindi lang witty na witty witty for the sense of being witty um, or um, napapatao uh, for the sense of comedy pero nilalagyan niya ng laman eh not just philosophy, but also uh, common sense. So, that's my jam. That's my jam. Hindi uh, nga lang talaga ako, hindi mar- maruno, pero hindi ko, ta- ko naman talaga uh, style yun. Aminado ako. Uh, although I, pre- I, I do appreciate that. So, yeah. <laughs> Nakatuwa lang. And, um, sige, um, uh, Pangalanan ko na, si Ato. For Ato kasi, uh, hindi naman i-invalidate ni Paolo yung ano niya, experiences niya. He, uh, in fact, he really, ano, he really wanted to contextualize uh, Ato's experience and uh, somehow gets niya yung, ano, yung uh, naging struggles niya. Kaya lang kasi, uh, medyo na-overuse niya yung poverty, yung poverty card. Kaya, ano, kaya ganun na lang yung naging misunderstanding nilang dalawa. And as I said, in some, in my, ano, in my previous brood banter, in my previous content here on YouTube, balance is the key. 
uh, and um, and being in the ano, in the middle is the key. Work life balance, kumbaga. <laughs> and um, ayun. Uh, hindi hindi masama na mag-work hard. It, it's not ano, it's not uh, bad to work hard. Try and set mindset is still a good thing actually. But there would always be ano, there would always be a time na kailangan mo ano, kailangan mo magpahinga. Nakalimutan kong sabihin in, in the previous brood banter yung pinaka-example ko pagdating sa ganyan. It's freaking Kong TV. And uh, that guy has been grinding for all his life. Kahit hanggang ngayon. Pero uh, at least may purpose. And, and, and uh, kahit pa paano, may purpose siya. Upang iangat niya yung ano niya, yung sarili niya at yung pamilya niya. He already done that. Iangat niya yung mga kaibigan niya. And lo and behold, Team Payaman is born. And now, he wants to sustain it since he already has a family. Uh, tatay na siya. He's, a, he's already a father to Kidlat. And a future husband to V. Cortez. So, so yun na. So, Kumbaga, siya yung pinaka-example nating lahat na uh, work hard, play hard, pero magpahinga ka rin. Kasi, uh, it's, ano eh, it's really something that you have to talk about or you have to, uh, to uh, deal with. And yeah. Well, sorry for the interruption. Uh, <laughs> kinausap lang ako ng Mother Superior and, uh, yeah, uh, gising na sila. So, medyo late na rin ako na ano, gising for that. Now, where was I? Yeah, work hard, play hard, pagpahinga ka rin. That's basically Kong TV. That's basically what we should do even without knowing Kong TV. And, uh, I guess, ano, uh, it's something that Ato is already, you know, is already um, uh, learning at this point. So that's kind of that's kind of uh, the thing. Now, siguro lipat na ako sa workstation kasi medyo maingin dito sa sa labas. One moment. A few moments later. Hi, welcome back to the workstation. Ah, nagano ako. Nag-relocate ako. Maganda na sa ana eh. Kaso ayun, it's uh <laughs> oh, medyo ano. <laughs> uh, marami na rin sasakyan at this point and uh, marami na rin tumatahol. So dito na talaga. I really don't want to um stay here. Um uh, Para, para lang sa brood banter and all everything pero uh, this is basically my work uh, outside of work and uh, I try to make it fun <laughs> so yun what's my train of thought ano bang ano ko ano ba yung huli ko na ano yeah yun nga um ato realized that yun nga uh, his um uh, his words were uh, were actually appreciated. Were actually appreciated. Kaya lang yun nga. Uh, ib- ito, medyo tabingi lang yung delivery niya. Kaya nagkaroon ng reaction section kay Paulul. And then yun nga. Uh, in the end, through Nico David's help, eh, parang pinarealize sa kanya na, yeah, um, ganun ang galawan ni Paulul. And, uh, bigla-bigla na sinabi na fan na siya ni Paulul. <laughs> Pero, ewan ko na lang kung talagang, ano, talagang maging legit cancer siya. Pero, malay natin, ba? But, yeah. I guess that's, um, I guess that's uh, that's the end of it. Hopefully, hopefully that's the end of it. So, yeah. 
So, this other thing that I really wanted to talk about regarding... Um, ay, hindi. Hindi pa pala. Uh, konektado pa pala to. So, uh, this, um, this saga has just um, made me realize something that has been read um, on our churches. Uh, this, I mean, this uh, last Sunday at the point of this recording. So, technically kahapon. And that is um, coming from... Coming from the 11th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew, wherein Jesus uh, told, I mean, told uh, his followers, not just the apostles, but his, you know, his disciples, uh, um, the majority of his disciples and uh, the crowd. I praise thee, O Father, for uh, hiding these truths to the learned and the wise and have revealed them to the lowly. And I guess that's, I mean, I don't want to sound like a Bible scholar here. I'm not. Okay. Pero, given this, ano, given this context, parang, it made me realize na, kahit na hindi masyadong religious, talaga si Tito Pao ninyo, uh, that, Thomasian identity remains indelible on him na uh, there's a there's something about ano, there's something about moderation or at least um, think um, thinking about things uh, thinking about thinking about things um, not really differently but uh, comprehensively and uh, kumbaga, the Dom- both our Dominican upbringing here has been ano, has been uh, revealed. So, yun lang naman. And uh, there's also another thing that just solidifies uh, the whole ano, the whole saga. And that is uh, the latter part of that gospel passage. Come to me, all ye who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Wow. That passage in that gospel line is really, you know, is really uh, uh, coincidental actually na nangyari to, nangyari tong saga na to, and then it ended with with this gospel passage on a Sunday. So, syempre, uh, the Catholic brain in me is just telling me, oh my goodness, this is, you know, this is something that you need to tackle and uh, tackle I do, tackle I do now so <laughs> Selavi it is what it is um, and uh, kumbaga I have to ano, I have to tell you na it really is important to take rests kasi it's sa totoo lang mga kababayan I do have been suffering for uh, I do have been suffering migraines for the past few days. Hindi ko lang pinapahalata sa ano, sa inyo na talagang uh, what the hell's going on with my brain? What the hell's going on with my head? And kahit nung nagbike ako kahapon, uh, medyo ramdam ko pa rin pero having that sense of um, a breath of fresh air Parang dun ko na ano dun ko na na realize na yeah I do need ano I do need something like that I do need something like that at least once a week. Di na ako nagbike ngayon um, kasi kila ako eh, kung baga eh, I, that uh, I mean cycling is basically my psychological and mental rest and basically the day after is gonna be uh, physical rest dahil after this, konting pahinga, trabaho ulit. So, ganun talaga ang buhay. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it on the, on the first part, or the first topic that I wanted to tackle. Now, the second one is um, medyo, ano, medyo personal para sa akin. Now, 
if you watched my video or my brood banter last January about my uh, my thoughts on the permanent diaconate uh, existing in the Philippines, I have um, divulged that I am an extraordinary minister of Holy Communion. And I still am. And nasabi ko dun, at nasabi ko dun na I have a very, ano, very high opinions or very um, strong opinions regarding the Holy Eucharist as as an EMHC. Kasi we're, we're basically tasked to bring Jesus himself, Christ himself, to the people. And sa end, as, as I said last time, and, I, and as, I say, as I say now, I am never gonna be worthy of bringing him to the people of God. Di, ko, di ako karapat dapat. But here I am. Uh, still in this ano still in this ministry kumbaga now merong nag viral na photo sa Antipolo Cathedral uh yung parang page yata ng Antipolo Cathedral i'm not sure what's the ano what's the what's the event pero uh what happened is that an EMHC was giving the body of Christ giving holy communion to this person who is kneeling and receiving uh, the body of Christ on the tongue. I honestly prefer that. At kahit EMHC ako, yun ang ginagawa ko. Uh, tinatolerate ng kura namin dito sa, uh, na nakakasakop dito sa Intrepid HQ. Tinatolerate niyon. And besides, he might be, ano, he might realize na, yeah, I think this is, ano, this is the most proper way. And uh, buti na lang, isa sa mga EMHC ko, uh, he, he knows this so well. So, shout out kay Father. <laughs> um, I don't know if you're gonna watch this, pero shout out sa inyo, Father. And uh, maraming salamat at ano, uh, kahit pa paano, binibigyan niyo pa rin ako ang pagkakataon na makapaglingkod. And uh, yun nga, um, uh, ano yun? <laughs> um, may padala ko pa rin si Kristo sa ano sa tao even even though I am unworthy I will always be unworthy ayun the reason why I uh the reason why I uh tackle that right the reason why I uh am sharing that to you now is because the guy who has been kneeling to receive holy communion kilala namin siya ni Miss Intrepid I, uh, he's part of the circle of contacts that I have who are uh, who are genuinely concerned about the Catholic Church even though meron siyang mga mental uh, mental health issues and that's besides the point but basically he is turning to God to ano to uh, not really heal pero to uh, to get through all of his ano to get through all of his mental ano um mental hell kumbaga and as for Miss Intrepid dati siya dati niya dati niyang estudyante yun I'm not gonna name the guy kasi uh kumbaga medyo sensitive na yun pero safe to say na kilala, kilala namin pareho ni Miss Intrepid to and uh I'm just ano, I'm just gutted to uh, to learn na maraming naghaha comment or naghaha react sa ano na yun, sa photo na yun. It's not just ano, I'm not just uh, sad that uh, that that happened. I'm actually concerned. I'm actually sabi natin mad as hell. I'm not sure, pero either way uh the fact that I'm mentioning it in this video, eh, it just means na sobrang, ano, sobrang problematic ng ganito. Kasi, napakalaking cognitive dissonance to eh. Kasi, a few months ago, nung sinurvey ang mga tao na 
yung yung Ostia ba na tinatanggap ninyo sa sa banal na misa katawan ni Kristo ba yun? And marami nagsasabi, yes. It's Christ himself, body, blood, soul and divinity. Pero yung manner kung papaano mo siya tinatanggap. Alam mo yun. I mean, I've already I I've, I've also been ano, um receiving Christ in the hands and honestly having known a lot regarding that I regret it. Okay? I do regret it. But I'm not saying na ano na dapat sa bibig lang tapos nakaluhod. Hindi ako ganun. Kaya lang mas prefer ko 'yon. The fact that I am I myself am pre- preferring to receive the body of Christ on the tongue and kneeling uh hindi ko naman sasabing you do you pero come on guys come on si Kristo yan eh bakit hindi ka luluhod di ba yun lang naman I'm actually you know I'm actually concerned not with ano not with I'm actually more concerned not with the guy kasi paninindigan niya yun eh And uh, thanks be to God, uh, some of my contacts are also no, are also uh, supporting him. That's uh, no, that's for sure. Kaya lang the common uh, no, the common uh, opponents, if if we even call them that, are those who are you know, who are a little bit woke. Sabi na natin a little bit woke o sabi na natin eh uh, sumo sobra na sa kanilang mga ano sa kanilang mga uh, inu- ito yung pagsasabi nila ng mga innuendos nila I get it I really get it you really want to do ano you really want to be edgy that's that's ano uh, that's that's your thing okay kaya lang everything has its, everything has its limits and sad to say a lot of people who are uh making fun of this photo or making fun of this posture of this guy has overstepped their bounds you know what's ano you know what's um sabihin natin ano you know what's similar to this yung napanood na video tungkol sa ano sa dra- sa drag parade sa New York part of the Pride Month parade last month anyway i have already i'm I'm tackling that as well on the uh, in the podcast pero um se- pero pinipreview ko na sa inyo ngayon. Basically, one of the chants that chants were that were heard, yung mga sinisigaw ng mga tao ng mga uh, participants do sa parade eh we're coming for your children. I mean, yeah. Medyo nabitin din ako sa ano sa <laughs> sa Um, discussion ng Sausawan podcast. Uh, parang ipapart to nila yun, yung tungkol doon. Uh, and especially Aura Brigella. But I also have, uh, no, I also have tackled that in uh, the next episode of the Intrepid podcast. Um, as I said, i-edit ko siya ngayon. Uh, and uh, hopefully, I can upload it uh, tonight, tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Bahala na. Either way, uh, just wanted, I just wanted to let you know na ang hirap lang talaga ng ano. Ang hirap lang talaga ng uh, ang hirap lang talaga na uh, sabihin ng mga tao na sumosobra na kayo. ba diba? And yes, sumosobra na sila. To be honest, uh, I'm really disappointed na ganito ang ano, ugali nila sa tao na gusto lang tanggapin si Kristo na with full absolute adoration and reverence. Ang problema noon sa EMHC, EMHC siya ano tumanggap. Wala nang problema doon. I'm EMHC ako pero okay lang naman na tatanggap ako ng katawan ni Kristo sa kapwa EMHC. It's not the person who is uh, distributing it. It's the it's the presence of the it's the presence of Jesus himself in the Eucharist. That is what I 
and the people that I know am kneeling to. That, I mean, that, oh, that is, I mean, it's, it's that host that we're kneeling to. Siya yung, uh, yung niluluhuran namin, hindi yung nagdi-distribute. Gets nyo ba? So, yun lang naman. Again, uh, I really hope, ano, I really hope, um, um, this would be an opportunity for, uh, for all of us to learn more about, about the Catholic faith. Kahit na hindi ka, ano, kahit hindi ka katoliko, kasi, uh, even though ignorance is, uh, uh, ignorance excuses no one, sometimes, ignorance is, ano eh, is, um, triggered by a lot of factors. And, you know, yung iba sa kanila, it's not ignorance eh. It's not ignorance, it's being edgy. Yung tipong, uh, alam ko, alam ko yan, pero, um, I still want to be irre- irreverent, or, I still want to, ano, I still want to say this, because this is what I, this is what I have in mind. You do you, pero, uh, sinasabi ko lang na hindi lang ikaw ang tao sa mundo. Hindi lang ikaw ang ano, ang uh, um, may karapatan na mag-enjoy sa gusto nilang gawin. Kumbaga, it's just sad that tolerance is already you know, thrown out of the window. Pero yun nga, ah, uh, <laughs> nag ano pa nag uh, nag uh, nag ano pa second video pa so kailangan ko ring i-edit to shit <laughs> anyway 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 uh yeah this might be the longest brood banter that I ever had pero mukhang ano mukhang i-edit ko na to kaya I'm not even sure but just to ano just to conclude to Paulul to Nico David and to everyone else who are ano who have been objectively and uh uh sabihin natin in uh explaining to their fan base and to everyone else that uh there's always a work life balance and to that to that guy that Miss Intrepid and I um uh, uh know who is the subject of that um of that photo that a lot of people have misunderstood na parang na hinto lang sila nung nag-comment si Romar Chuka and uh medyo questionable pa nga si Romar Chuka eh pero nung nung nag-chime in na siya, parang natameme sila lahat. I mean, hihintayin pa ba nila na, ano, na, <laughs> na mag-comment tong si Romar Chuka tungkol doon para lang tumigil sila sa mga kalokohan nila. It's just sad, but to that guy who, ano, to that guy that we, uh, that Ms. Entrapid and I uh, know so much, uh, may God bless you. At sana um, makahanap ka ng, ano, ng kapayapaan sa sarili mo because you're gonna be mentally gutted with this. And uh, at minsan, ano, ang hirap din. Gets ko yung, ano, gets ko yung, na, ano mo, yung uh, nararamdaman mo. I was once like that. So, yeah, to all of you, who have been um, struggling so hard about this. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing. Cheers. So, dalawa nang i-edit ko. 
good deck. <laughs> Uh, this one, tapos si si The Intrepid Podcast. Ang um, maganda lang naman kasi, uh, pwede ko nang i-edit dito yung ano eh, kasi sa Audacity. Kasi, uh, meron din ako ano, um, Vegas dito, pero mas luma yung version niya kaysa doon sa isang, ano, sa isang unit. So, I would have to edit the video part there. It's a two-step process. Pero ito, minimal edits as much as possible. Parang kukonekta ko lang to. And then maybe... Uh, disclaimer and then the ano and then the intro and extra and all that so uh, kakaibang brood banter to kasi <laughs> yeah uh, kinailangan kong magdalawang video para dito dang it anyway uh, marami na akong sinabi with all that said this is Entrepedi and then yon reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world until then Look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other, and, um, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, uh, always remember to think about the other person. Na baka nakakasakit na kayo ng, ano, ng, uh, nakakasakit na kayo ng ibang tao. Not just physically, but also mentally, psychologically, and all that. So, um, just make sure to ano just make sure to uh be considerate and uh you know always learn about things never be afraid to learn kasi minsan ano eh you're just uh you just don't know what the, these guys have been to been through and uh yun nga it's a lesson for everyone so yeah And as always, thank you very much for watching. And until uh, and uh, from here in Intrepid HQ, see you next time. Ian out.